Hello viewers, welcome to the video lecture series on machine learning. Today's topic of discussion is on Gauss elimination method. So this is a mathematics topic, but you all should know this mathematics topic as you will be seeing how you are going to use it in the machine learning. So Gauss elimination method is also known as row reduction. It is a method used to solve systems of linear equations by performing a sequence of row operations on the augmented matrix until it is in a simplified row echelon form and you will be carrying out back substitution to find the solution so here the words that are used in this particular introduction are linear equation so you should be knowing what is linear equation what are the different row operations that are used in this method it is an augmented matrix what do you mean by row echelon form and back substitution so let me explain one by one these terms and then i'll solve the same thing with an example let us see first what do you mean by systems of linear equations it refers to a set of two or more linear equations that involve the same variables and the goal is to find values for those variables that satisfy all the equations simultaneously so for example now you can check here these are the two linear equations it is mentioned that it involves the same variable so you can check here the variables are x y x y it is having the same kind of variables it can be x plus y plus z equal to 5 x minus y plus z equal to 8 something like this so here you have three variables but it has got the same variables and not only just variables it the equations may have the coefficients also like you can say 3 x plus 2 y plus 5z equal to 5 2x minus of 3y plus 8z equal to 9 something like this so here you can see this this equations 3 2 5 2 minus 3 8 are the coefficients and this 5 and 9 are the constant so now you know that a linear equation will have variables coefficients and constants but the equations will be what minimum it has to be two equations two or more equations and it should have the same set of variables this is one term you should be knowing so in gauss elimination method what exactly you will be doing is if these these are the equations okay two equations you are going to find out the values for x y and z there are some steps to, in order to get the values for x y and z variable and what are the operations that can be used in the steps so that you will be checking now so one more term you should be knowing is augmented matrix here the system of linear equations is first represented as an augmented matrix combining the coefficient matrix and the constant terms so whatever are the two equations that are given or two or more equations given in the problem statement you will separate out all the coefficient and form one coefficient matrix and another matrix which is having only the constant terms then which are the different row operations that you can perform in you can either swap the rows or you multiply or divide a row by a constant or you can replace a row by adding or subtracting a multiple of another row to it so let us see which type of row operation will be suitable for our example which we are solving now the next term is the row echelon form row echelon form the aim of this operation is to reduce the matrix into row echelon form where the leading coefficients that is the pivots are one each row has more leading zeros than the row above it all elements below the leading coefficients are zero so if these are the elements in the matrix let me take a three by three matrix here so the elements which are placed here okay we say these are the diagonal elements the elements which are below this diagonal elements now in this case we have these three elements okay this one this one this has to be zero so finally the last step you require in order to get the result is your back substitution so once the matrix is in the row echelon form the system can be easily solved by using the back substitution let us see one example here so that the things becomes clearer to you now this will be the question solve the following system of equations by using the gauss elimination method now there are three equations given one two three i have just numbered here and you can check here these three equations what is the first step you will be doing first write down all the matrices here first matrix you are going to write only using the coefficients 3 4 5 2 minus 3 4 here you have 1 1 1 okay those numbers you are writing here 3 4 5 2 minus 3 
4, 1, 1, 1. This is one matrix and the variables that are there in this equations are x, y, z. So, this will be your another matrix and you are get, get forming one more here with all the coefficients 40, 13, 9, 40, 13, 9. So, now you have to first form the augmented matrix. Augmented matrix is what combining the coefficient matrix and the constant matrix. So, here I am just writing down this is the coefficient matrix up till here. Okay. And this is the separator that is used in the augmented matrix. And finally, here this one you are writing all the constants. This becomes your augmented matrix. So, as I said, if these are the elements A, B, C, now you just check this part. Okay. In this part of the matrix, these are the diagonal elements 3, minus 3 and 1. So, the elements below this are 2, 1, 1. Now, you have to make these three elements zeros 2 1 1 okay so you are having 3 4 5 2 minus 3 4 1 1 1 fine so this is your r1 r2 and this is your r3 now you want to make this element 2 as 0 okay to make this as 0 you can perform the row operation uh, to make the simplification process easier we can always see that a row which is having lower values can be brought on the top. So, that is why now what I am doing is this row 3 is having 1, 1, 1 and row 1 is having 3, 4, 5. I will swap this row 3 with row 1. So, that is why I am writing here row 1 is swapped with row 2. So, when I swap you are going to swap along with the constants that are mentioned. So, here now the row 1 becomes 1, 1, 1, 9. This is your row 2 and this is your row 3. So, now we want to make this as 0. So, this is in the row 2. How to make this as 0? Very simple. If I have to multiply this first row elements okay, by 2, I will get here 2. That means 2 minus 2, I can get it as 0. I R2 minus of 2 R1. So, if I multiply this with 2, 2, 2 and then take the elements of row 2 and subtract this then I will get because my main aim is to make this element as 0 when you try to make this element as 0 definitely you cannot perform only for this specific element all the elements in the same row will also get changed let it get changed but let us see that this first element becomes 0 so for us this is the row operation that we can use in order to make it as 0 so I can write here 2 minus of 2 is 0 yes minus 3 minus of 2 will be minus 5 then 4 minus of 2 will be 2 and 13 minus of 18 will be minus 5 so now your row 2 has become this one okay next thing is you have to make this element as 0 to make this as 0 you can check here r1 has got all ones so if i multiply this r1 with 3 so i am using this operation you can check here what is that r3 minus of 3 r1 r3 is here 3 3 minus of 3 will be what 0 then 4 minus of 3 will be 1 5 minus of 3 will be 2 40 minus of 27 9 into 3 will be 30 so this is your present values in r3 right so, you have successfully made this as 0, this as 0. Now, only element remaining is this one. This you need to make it as 0. And to make this element as 0, you can check the row elements that are present above it. I will just show you what I am trying to tell is R3, R3 plus 1 by 5 into R2. Let me just substitute and tell you. Now, R3 value is how much? 1. I will write it here. 1 plus of 1 by 5 into R2 value is how much? Minus 5. So, this 5, 5 will get cancelled. Plus into minus is minus. So, 1 minus of 1 equal to 0. So, this way we can make this 1 as 0 and you can do the same thing with the rest of the elements so here is your row operation i have written here r3 is r3 plus of 1 divided by 5 into r2 
that means whatever are the elements of r2 we are multiplying with 1 by 5 so now you can check here the next element in this is 2 and the element in the row 2 is also 2 so 2 plus 2 into 1 divided by 5 you will get 2 plus of 2 divided by 5 when you simplify you are going to get 12 divided by 5 so here you can check it is 12 divided by 5 then the next element is 13 and the element on the top of it is 13 so here i have written the steps 13 plus minus 5 into 1 divided by 5 you will get 13 minus 1 which is equal to 12 so i have written here the element 12 this way your elements in the row 3 has become now 0 0 12 divided by 5 and 12 so you have made these elements as 0 now start with the row element which is having maximum number of zeros because uh, the numbers that are there are in each row are actually the coefficients of the variables x y z and this is your constant so now you can just check if you take a row first which is having more number of zeros that means only this one so this is what with respect to z this is with respect to z the remaining x and y are zero here so you will take first 12 by 5 z equal to 12 okay the coefficient this is the constant here you are writing 12 so the next step will be z equal to 12 into 5 by 12 so z becomes 5 now z is equal to 5 once you know z value then you can use the second row elements wherein in the coefficient of y is there coefficient of z is there and here you have the constant whereas x is 0 so you can just use that from the second row so i am writing here minus 5 plus 2z equal to minus 5 so minus 5y plus 2z equal to minus 5 now in this z value we have computed z is equal to 5 so substitute z equal to 5 simplify you will get y equal to 3 so now we got z equal to 5 and y equal to 3 for us now it is easy to find out the value for x x now come to this third row you can check here the coefficients for x y z are 1 so the equation becomes what x plus y plus z equal to 9 now you know y equal to 3 z equal to 5 substitute you will get x equal to 1 so with this we got the values as x equal to 1 y equal to 3 and z equal to 5 so this is how you have to use the row operations in the gauss elimination method find out the values for the variables x y z and the, the elements that are present below the diagonal elements has to be made zero so select the row operations appropriately so in this example these are the different row operations we have carried out r2 is equal to r2 minus 2 r1 r3 equal to r3 minus 3 r1 and r3 equal to r3 plus this row operation is making the first element of the second row as 0 and this row operation is making the first element of the third row as 0 and this row operation is making the second element of the third row as 0. Finally, we could make these three as zeros by using the different row operations. Hope you find this session useful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye and take care.